What do you think are the important points in the education of children? What are important to give to the children? You see, first, if they, if they get realization, to get first them to that point of realization, if they are already born realized, no problem, but if they, have, they are given realization, then, you see, they start seeing from a different level, they become the Spirit. So their self-respect, you see, awakened. <coughs> Such children behave in a very dignified, elderly manner, you see, they talk in a very elderly manner and they give solutions of all kinds, you see, and they are tremendous people. But we have to guide them properly by our own behaviour, how we behave. The greatest thing is how we behave, that's how the children learn. We put the children uh, certain to some tests how they are. We find out if they have any physical problems, we cure them. If they have mental problem, we cure them. If they have any other problem, social problem or anything, we try to help them out. So that basically, if a human being is all right in his childhood, then fundamentals are all right for the child. The foundation is laid down. Then to build that child up into a good quality is not difficult. So now we find great artists are there, they are great musicians, and at a very young age they have started playing violin. I mean, suddenly they have become dynamic also and very humble. They are very humble and self respecting and very well behaved. It's surprising how the atmosphere is and how it works out. And the other day the lady asked me about the women, and I told her that a woman's power as a mother is very great. She felt hurt about it, but I didn't mean that you should be just a mother. What I'm saying, she is a mother, means she is compassionate, she is kind, she is not aggressive like man. That is a very big quality, that's a very big power in a woman. That's what I was suggesting, that that is what we have to harness, not to compete with men, it's madness. We have to understand that life has to be uh, enjoyable, life has to be a blessing not to be a misery. We create our own miseries by these false ideas, by our own uh, con convictions we have in our mind, mental projections we have in our mind, or our own obstinacy, whatever it is. All these things can be cured if uh, you take to Sahaja Yoga, because you become a balanced person, level-headed, wise person, and you become a witness. The whole thing becomes like a show, like a drama and you become fearless, you start seeing the whole thing like a drama. And this is what a human being has to achieve. We talk of peace, we talk of uh, uh, no war, we talk of many things like this, you see, atomic bomb, this, that, all that is not going to work out. Only what is going to work out is the transformation of human beings. If the human beings are transformed, things will work out absolutely first class. Not only that, but that they will enjoy the bliss of life, we are missing the point altogether. This is a very important thing uh, that human beings must say one thing. What have we achieved out of all this? Just for a minute to stop and think. 